Oh, sorry, everyone. Welcome to my channel again. And this is the episode 2 of Super Automotive Program. And headline of today is But they want to ban Milotin car. Well, first, what is Milotin car? I can't find any definition online. So I'm going to assume that Milotin car is a car that is not strong enough. If so, I think the banning is good. It solved the doubt on proton safety after the involvement of Geely. And banning Milotin car doesn't affect those Japanese or European car because most of them already have a strong body before Proton have. It's just that those water bottle car from China won't, won't be taking a step in Malaysia. And also, it forced Proton to use a better material to build their car. Now let's talk about other country, Daihatsu. Finally, Daihatsu revenge our local mate my V. While Daihatsu and Toyota always have a weird designer that they can't make the car look good. I've seen a original Toyota Paso before. It's a Singaporean car. And it doesn't look good. A rebadge non-original MyV looks even better than the original Paso. Well I think what Prado should do is they should start to sell their design. Like Pini Farina or Ital design. So they made a clay model, they sell the design, so that next time you see a BMW 3 Series 320i gear up edition, which is designed by Brudois. Now let's talk about some even further country, British. Well, British have a new supercar, it's called McLaren 600LT. It's a long tail version of 570S. It looks okay, not as good as a 675LT, which is one of my favorite also. But still worth a try in playing their configurator. While the web page for their configurator is down for several weeks, I try to access a lot of time and I still can't access to their internet. So you don't need to waste your time to Google that car because you can't access their configurator as well. So let's focus back to Malaysia because at least when I Google search Proton, the Proton web page is accessible. So there's a plan on building a third Malaysia brand or PTGA. And most of the people are against it. But for me, I like the idea of the Malaysian brand. Well, maybe not now. And they should consider selling outside Malaysia as well. Because local people won't buy a local product. Imports are always sound more superior. So they need to sell it to other countries. And, and having a third brand also means that for those who can't afford a ridiculously overpriced import car, which are supposed to be cheaper, to have more choice. So instead of Proton Peruda, there will be another brand for you to choose. Also public transport and having more car, I don't think it's going to clash each other if the main purpose of the car is to sell it outside the country. So thanks for watching another episode of Sampa series, which direct translate as rubbish. Uh, do press like, comment and subscribe to me. And I'll see you in the next video.